everyone. Uh, my name is Christina Bake. I'm an associate professor of medicine at the University of Washington and for Hutchinson Cancer Center in Seattle. Today, I'll be discussing about non-small cell lung cancer uh, with EGFR XM20 insertion mutation. And I organized this talk based on the conversations I've had uh, with my own patients and some of the questions that have been asked in the past. So in the way of background, let me start by showing you uh, this slide. Um, this is an old uh, figure, but I, I think it's helpful uh, to see that lung cancer is not one cancer. So as you know, uh, lung cancer is made up of uh, mainly two types, um, which are called small cell and non-small cell lung cancer. And within non-small cell lung cancer, uh, there are different subtypes based on the cells that make up that cancer. And the most common subtype is called an adenocarcinoma. And even within uh, this particular subtype, um, there are different cancers uh, based on their uh, genetic makeup. And the reason this is important is because these cancers have a particular uh, genetic abnormality that makes that cancer grow. And the treatments are usually different for the different uh, types of cancer. So just because one patient has lung cancer and the second patient also has lung cancer, doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna get the same treatment. This is a pie chart of many different uh, subtypes of lung cancer, uh, specifically the type called adenocarcinoma. As I mentioned, I'm going to focus on the EGFR exon 20 insertion mutation, uh, which is a mouthful. Um, and this is an uncommon cancer mix of about 2% of lung cancers, or specifically lung adenocarcinomas. This may seem like a small number, but uh, because lung cancer as a whole is so common, uh, this still represents thousands of new patients um, every year. Now, a few things I wanna highlight is that exon 20 insertion is an abnormality that is uncommon in a gene called EGFR that is relatively common. So you can see that uh, in this pie chart, the, um, the piece with red, that all represents EGFR, but uh, the exon 20 only represents a small piece of it. So, uh, so it is an abnormality that is different from the common uh, mutation in the gene EGFR. And the reason I'm highlighting this is because um, if you, search online for EGFR lung cancer, really the bulk of information you're gonna see is really for the common EGFR mutations and not for exon 20. And, and drugs that work very well in the common mutations, and an example would be a drug called Ocimertinib, uh, really doesn't work very well for exon 20. So, um, so that's why I, I mentioned because many people do search for information on the internet. The other point that I'll make is that there is a similar abnormality uh, in a different gene called HER2. So there can be exon 20 insertions in EGFR, which is a different gene than HER2. So, um, and the treatments can be different. So for the purpose of this talk, I'm going to focus on EGFR. 